Hey guys, what's up? Today's video is going to deal with the, the regular bullshit that you see out there uh, where people are just flying backwards and trying to pop you in the face of the straight. Either they come right up on you and then they wait for you to punch or they throw a jab or something real quick and just make you throw. And then they step back and hit you or they're going to be running around the ring, running around the ring and just waiting for you to throw and they just step back and then do the straight. They do all fights. So what we're going to do in this video is kind of learn how to like get their straight percentage down to nothing. You know, just, just get them a shit percentage so they burn out midway through the fight and then you can you know push them up on the ropes and smash them so you can see these guys i don't know they try these gimmicks and shit most of them lose a lot of fights but it makes me mad when they do win a lot there are some that do and especially if you're a new player in this game i wish i had this video a long time ago when i first started but it's some bullshit even heavyweights it can be 6 8 260 pounds they can fly backwards before you can get even a punch off and then they and they're knocking you out so um what we're going to do here, and there's also the, so this is going to require a jab of the body, patience, and learn how to push. So, and you'll see in this clip here, uh, this guy, he's shelling up on me. Whenever someone's shelling up and you want them to fight, you're going to push them, then hit them, or just push them and get them, get ready to go. And we're going to learn this because they're going to push you back. So when someone pushes you in this game, you're going to flick the left stick directly back at them in the direction that they're at like as is if you're moving to them so you flick that stick so instead of the flicking backward to step back you're gonna flick towards them and that will suck you in and what's bullshit about these things these guys do if you see my stamina here is first half of the first round or a few seconds in and just because he steps back i'm losing my stamina and then i'm getting hit with the overpower straight so when we're when we're fighting these guys other than jab we're gonna let go of the left stick if you see my other video step back straight we, we let that go. You can see this guy. So we're going to start with this. He's right up on me. He's just waiting for me to throw so he can step back. So so I'm going to throw two punches here. I know he's going to do it. And there he goes. And he's just waiting for the exploit. He just wants me to lose my stamina and then hit me with the overpower straight. So we're going to really chill out the first part of the, the fight. And like this guy is a big guy. He's got a heavy build. We want him jumping and skipping and missing his straights. And then slowly but surely he'll wear out. And then we'll catch him later in the fight. So you see this here. And um, there's going to be two kinds of guys. They're either going to like do this way where they come up on you and they just wait for you to throw. And remember, leave the left stick alone. Don't do not do it. You have these guys. Now we're going to be doing the feints. This is what's going to wear them out. And you see like you can use all kinds of feints. Just tip your head. Hit your gloves real fast. Sometimes you can be out in space and just press block. Whatever it takes to get them throwing. If they if they if they fall for your jab just or your faint, just keep doing it until they learn. Even if it's like two three rounds, and just and just hit them with something like a jab to the body afterwards. The reason why we're using a jab to the body it goes underneath the straight. So so orthodox versus orthodox with this southpaw versus southpaw. Now you see here, I'm gonna faint this guy, and there that's what we want early in the fight. We want him doing. Missing his punches, jumping all around, all that bullshit. Meanwhile, we're going to stay, uh, keep our stamina very high. And we, we do this because jabs are very, uh, they're very like cost effective, you could say. When you throw jabs, it doesn't take a lot of stamina. So usually we'll get back 13 to 14% recovery after the round. Plus, we're not using much stamina to throw them. And we're slowly but surely chipping them down. But you also got to learn how to attack because later in the fight, you have to uh, you have to close the show, right? So see, and here's another one where the guy's shelling up on me. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to make him fight. And sure enough, I start, you know, I'll push him and then pop him. This guy is just waiting for me. He's doing the same shit, different guy. So I just kind of push him back up on the ropes. And then, you know, we're going to start hitting him in the head. And he's going to start, you know, reacting then. Because we're not going to give him that, we're not going to throw any punches at him when he's just waiting to step back and straight us. Now also later in the fight, this is important, when you are starting to win rounds, you got to really still be careful. So you see this guy, I'm not going to overextend myself because um, I'm already getting up on the rounds, on the, on the scoring. And he's just waiting for me to come, see he's backing up, he's behind. And this is what they're going to do. They're going to run like a complete bitch. And they're just going to wait for you to miss. So you got to be very careful. 
And when you get up on points, um, if you don't think he's ready to go, just keep, just, you know, kind of keep the output enough to win the round, but don't overdo it. You can see here, he wanted to run away, and I'm up, so I'm like, come on over and get some. You know, you, he's the one that's got to score, not me. And then you'll see as you go along, after they, they get worn out like this guy, Later in the fight, they'll start getting stunned out of the blue. You can actually throw punches. You don't have leveled up. It'll still work really good. So it's jab the body, faint a lot, especially the first half of the fight. And then later on, they'll be ready to go. You know, and you'll be able to notice in their body language, like when they're starting to wear out or their, their sound, if, you know, especially if you're wearing headphones, you'll hear it. Also, a thing to note on this is... Um, when you're throwing jabs at the body, once you get the range down and you kind of get a good feel and it's landing most of the time, you can mix some power jabs in too. That will speed up the process uh, without taking too much risk. And another thing to mention too is like our jabs, we want long jabs. We want to be at the end of our reach. So in one or two, we don't want to be right up on them spamming jabs to the body because that would just burn you up. Also, if you can, um, this is a good way to actually practice using the sticks because the sticks they take less stamina they hit harder they're faster and you have more variation on your punches i actually started winning a lot more fights when i started using the sticks so anyway let's continue on here now you see here i'm kind of just fainting this guy just jabbing his body and if i see an you know, opportunity to throw a few more shots i will um you know, so that's kind of really the, the key of it. You just got to chill out until you start seeing wearing down. And then um, keep working that jab of the body. When you when you have opportunity, you know he's not going to step back on you. Um, you. Open up a little bit, but not too much. But you can see here, as soon as I start throwing, he's do, he's going for the bullshit. And for anyone that the new people, if you're not aware, basically the reason why everyone spams the jab or the straight is because back in the day... When the first get, first came out, people were, were spamming jabbing straight to the body, jab straight, jab straight, and people were complaining about it because it was just like gassing people out. So what EA did was they reduced the the power of it. Then people complained about that. So later on down the road, they cranked up the power yet again. So now the the jab is uh, is. Uh, way overpowered it doesn't take too much stamina to throw them you can miss a lot of them and still kind of it, it'll still knock the guy out even if you're down to 30 percent stamina so they, they're more accurate they're more powerful they don't take too much stamina off you and it's one of the the punches that has like a whole lot of uh, one punch knockout animations as well so it, it's really a win-win for these people to spam the shit out of the straights and that's why they do it Especially when they step back, because it's going to take my stamina down. It's going to add power to the already overpowered straight, and that's why they do shit like this. So as you can see, this guy, he's just waiting for me to throw again. And now he's doing the sidestep uppercut a bit. Bulldog's defense is paying off now. This guy, see, I, I, if you see my other videos, switching stances, I'm using a straight to the body uh, instead of the jab. I'm using a southpaw stance. That's because he's kind of up on me, and I want that extra power. Because um, you don't want to be throwing jabs from up close it's to the body, right, or even to the head, really, because they, they're going to end up clipping you with the, their right hand because your head's closer to them, and you don't have as much power as they do. So, and also the push, we talked about that a little bit earlier. Another thing too is if you, it's not so much in this case here, but if you have someone swarming you or you don't feel like fighting, you want to rest that round, you know, you, there's a button for it. You know, use the push, you know, not excessively or something. Don't be a punk with it, you know, but, um, you know, you can use that. So. See, so I got back 12 on this one. And I'm uh, percent of stamina, and then I'm gonna I'm back at 97, I think it says there, and I'm gonna keep that going, right? I'm gonna keep that going, keep that going. And eventually, that guy will gas out or start wearing down. And I can open him up on him a little bit more and more. It's a gradual thing, and this is a good way for um, newer players or people just lose a lot, you know, because you you don't get it, you know. Like these are heavyweights, you're fighting heavyweight guys, freaking 260 pounds, and he's flying back like a fairy. 
you know so it's all this mortal combat bullshit going on and this is a way you can you, i use this all the time it's a way you can put an end to that you know and it's just more you know after that i would say start going down it's more of like a kind of a race to uh you know get get your points up or get a knockout and, and sometimes you know if the guy knows what he's doing um you, you'll lose decisions you know so occasionally it all depends you got to kind of gauge it and once you do it you'll get kind of understand it a little bit more see where his stamina is and where he's at but if you keep your health up and your stamina you know especially late in the fight it's really huge benefit um, so that's one of the things that's one of the benefits of just jabbing the body here too so another thing too you see i threw a left hook when i do throw those other punches i want to make sure that i'm at the end of my punch so i'll be kind of far away from him so if i if i do miss you know i'll be in range for a regular straight but i'm not going to be in range for him to step back because he's going to step back and miss me so if we when we, we get in trouble when we get right up on him and then throw our punch because they can't step back you know and lightning fast and then and pop you with the straight so you can see here about 14 this is what we want so you want to just chill out jab the body and when they shell up on you uh push them because they, they'll do that they're going to run like a bitch at the end of the fight or they're just going to shell up and make them come to you when you get your points up too like you know don't be going after them to to set yourself up though you know where you can get and get knocked out with that step back shit this is kind of more of the same. I was kind of sloppy when I was using this dude with the red trunks. Not not as tight as I would want to be, but uh And this guy, he he throws a lot of extra punches and does a lot of flying backwards. Like I said, we're heavyweights and uh this is we're both rated 90. This is um but This is a very common thing that I do when I really do want to win a fight. There's some people I just brawl with them. I don't care. You know, I, you know, I, just, I don't really care if uh, I take a loss. Someone who just wants to have a lot of fun. But if I want to win the fight, I see someone's full of bullshit gimmicks. Then, um, yeah, I, I want to. You know, I want to win. And the thing too, these guys, I don't think they they see a lot of this. You know, so it's it's foreign to them, especially when they're. You know, they keep flying back and missing, especially feints. I don't have a lot of people fainting me. I faint people pretty much any time before I throw a punch. Uh, and it works. It works good. It works real good. Also, you might notice uh, if you looked at some of the, the other times when I was throwing the jab, I'll step to his, his left. So I'll step to his jab hand side when I throw the jab to body. Not always, but but pretty frequently. And there you saw I was kind of far away uh, when throwing the jab, and that that adds uh, gives you more power. And then it also um, it it makes it very hard for him to to get you with the return shot. Last ten seconds of round number three. There's more feigning here, and then just jab it, and there's a little hook. So we want to go in around four, five, six, seven with high stamina, and then you know things will turn our way. You're going to lose these early rounds. You know that's just the way it is, but um, not a big deal because if they're up on points, they're going to run like a bitch anyway. You know. So, all right. So I hope this helped people out, and um, you know, check out my other video on the uh, the step back straight spammer. Um, that one covers the uh you know how not to get hit with that pretty much by just leaving the left stick alone being flat-footed uh, take care have a good one